Hey everybody, and I'm on Glendor here, and welcome back to another Once Upon a Time summary. Uh, this summary is uh, about uh, Season 5, Part 1, uh, the Dark Swan arc. And uh, for those of you who remember... I made an expectations uh, video before uh, before it started, uh, and mm, it could have the the arc could have gone better. I kind of wish I, I kind of saw the whole Emma not being evil thing coming. That was what uh, I mentioned in um, in my expectations. Uh, I mentioned how, like, I wanted her to actually, like, be bad and not just, like, be bad for two episodes and then turn good again or pretend to be bad only to reveal that she's actually been good this whole time. I didn't want that to happen, and that's exactly what did end up happening. But in the process, we also got uh, a couple interesting villains. One being King Arthur. Uh, King Arthur. Yes, they're bringing back uh, people from actual history. Uh, which... Uh, I, I'm i still kind of upset about. I'm upset that they, uh, they're bringing in characters from actual history. But at the same time, they pretty much make him a villain throughout this arc. Um, so, hopefully we won't see him ever again past this arc. Uh, that's my hope. Uh, and we also end up getting, and we also ended up getting uh, another villain, which was uh, surprising. Hook. Yeah. He's back to being bad. And it's mainly because he's also a dark one. Yes, for the first time ever, there are two dark ones. And... When I first saw that, I was like, what? Like, I was so shocked, I could not believe what I just watched. I literally had to rewind twice so I could watch that scene again and make sure I got it right. I had to rewind twice. So I watched that scene, that one scene, three different times in a row because I couldn't believe it. That's how shocking that twist was. I just, I couldn't bring myself to believe it. Uh, and, uh, as a villain, he was, he was pretty awesome. Uh, and then, of course, they have that big speech at the end, like, you're better than this. This isn't the hook, uh, we know. This isn't the hook we respect. This, the, the hook we know is a hero. He wouldn't do, he wouldn't do this. You're better than this. You can come back to the light. And of course he does. He does. He And it's just I like the setup that they have for the new arc, the Underworld arc. Uh which I will be making another video uh my expectations for that. And I have uh a few expectations for that I I'm going to have to address. Uh but Let's see. We also ended up finding Merlin in uh, in this arc, who is black, who who is pretty much dead in present day. Uh, yeah, another curse happened. They ended up going to they ended up going to a camel. They ended up going to Camelot, which is where they met King Arthur, uh, and they spent like uh, they spent like three weeks there or so. Uh, and no one remembers anything. Again, no one remembers anything about their time, uh, the, uh, about their time there in Camelot. And that's the way Emma won it. Whew. Excuse me. And, um, yeah, so... I, uh, I honestly don't know what to think about this one. I really don't. It has some good twists. 
don't get me wrong, it has some good twists, and it has, um, it, it kept me interested the whole time, but at the same time, it, bringing in King Arthur and people who are actually tied to history, and finding out that Emma was never evil in the first place, even though that's exactly what we were promised, um, which I'm realizing more and more what we get in the trailer is ne it has absolutely nothing to do with what's going to happen in the season. Yeah. Yeah. Real th really think about that. Uh, the second half of season four, the, the first half of season four, the Frozen arc, when they were advertising it, they advertised it as if Elsa was the bad guy. She was walking through Storybook, freezing everything, and Regina and Emma looked at each other and they're like, ah, here we go again. And they, it was like Elsa was the villain. Like, whoa, really? Like, I was shocked to find that. I'm like, whoa, what? What kind of weird take of this? What kind of weird take on Frozen is this? This is awesome. And I couldn't wait to see Elsa as a villain. And no, that's not what we get. Not at all. Second half of season four. Um, we ended up getting the Queens of Darkness and Regina's there and then Regina disappears and then here comes Emma. She walks up and she's... She's got this evil smile, and she joins them as one of the Queens of Darkness. No! She never joins them. She never, jo she never joins them. She never teams up. She never teams up with them. In the end, they fail to blacken her heart. In the end, it's Lily's darkness that allows the ink to be made. And Dark Swan set up... Emma as a villain, but we find out she's not a villain. She's still a hero. She's pretending to be a villain. So I'm not, I'm not, I have not been paying attention to the trailers. I know there's been a couple trailers dropped for uh, the Underworld arc. I have not paid attention to them because they never have anything to do with the, uh, with the arc themselves. So, I don't see a point in watching those trailers. Because I'm not going to get any information from them. Um, with that said, uh, yeah, Merlin ends up dying. Uh, and Hook becomes a bad guy because being the second dark one, the darkness takes over him. And he ends up helping to bring all the previous Dark Ones, like a bunch of the previous Dark Ones, to Storybrooke. And they end up marking uh, a bunch of different people uh, with this, like, this death mark um, uh, so that they have to take their place in the Underworld. So that these past Dark Ones can stay here in the Mortal World. That's apparently how it works. And, um, of course... Uh, Hook ends up changing his mind. Everybody get uh, all the bad guys get sent back, and um, uh, the only way to send them back is for all of the darkness to be poured into one person, and then and then um, that person has to be stabbed. So Hook puts it all on himself and has Emma stab him. Shortly after, um, Emma discovers that Rumple is uh, Rumple is back to being the Dark One. Throughout the course of the season, he had no magic, and he was learning to be a hero. Uh, and I liked that. I liked that. Uh, it showed that he was he could still be brave even without magic. But of course, in the end, his lust for power will always win out. And, um, he's back to being the Dark One, only this time, uh, the dagger has the combined power of every single Dark One that has ever existed. So the dagger is 
pitch black now. It's not like silver with the uh, with the engravings on it. No, the dagger itself is pitch black. Uh, Rumpel is the ultimate dark one. And because the darkness was sucked out of his heart once before, he's starting over with a clean slate. So as long as he doesn't do too many evil deeds, he'll be fine. He'll continue to be the dark one for all eternity. So, and, uh, so Emma ends up, so Emma ends up enlisting the help of Rumpel, Regina, uh, Snow, Charming, Robin Hood, uh, and Henry, uh, and the seven of them head off, and the seven of them head off uh, to the seven of them uh, head off to the underworld to find and save Hook and bring him back. And, uh, yeah. Oh, and uh, Zelina gets sent back to Oz because, uh, because they, th because they knew that, um, they couldn't let uh, Robin Hood's uh, newly born uh, son uh, be anywhere near um, Zelina. That Zelina would just teach it to be uh, incredibly evil and one might say wicked. Uh, and uh, yeah. They sent her away. They sent her away. I, I'm not surprised because I know she's gonna come back. There's no way that's the last time we'll see her. She's gonna come back and she's gonna bring friends next time. She's probably gonna team up with a few other villains or so. I don't know. Um, but yeah. So that's really about it. Uh, this arc. I'm split, honestly. The bad stuff is really bad, but the good stuff is really good. So, I'm honestly really split. I'm gonna give this a 5 out of 10 because uh, there's no way I can give it a good rating, a positive rating, or a negative rating. I just gotta give it an average. Uh, it's okay. What's good is really good, what's bad is really bad. Just an average, uh, just an average arc. Not much else to it. But yeah, that's all I got for this one. Stay tuned for my Season 5 Part 2 Underworld Arc Expectations. Alright, I'll see you then, everybody. Take care.